All right, guys, what is going on? We are back for another video. And um, you guys, last video you watched, I mentioned that I was either gonna be doing tubs or tubes in the front end. The original plan was tubes, but I wanted to ask you guys a second opinion because I'm having a dilemma and uh, I wanted to go tubs, but I just wanted to hear you guys' thoughts. So my final decision is to go tubs. That's what I wanna do. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna be doing tubs on the car. Like I said, the car is going to the shop in Philadelphia in two to three weeks. Um, so it doesn't matter, it's not like you know, we're pushing the shop thing farther back. This just needs to get done before it goes to the shop because I'm getting custom, cu <laughs> I'm getting custom intercooler pipe made with, um, you know, a custom blow off valve and all kinds of crazy bends and hopefully V-band clamps and stuff. So it couldn't be done after because there's a flat spot where the intercooler pipe has to go through and I need to make sure it goes through the right part. So it would be a much easier process to do the tubbing part first. I already have a mock-up I made out of cardboard. This is pretty much what's gonna happen. So the intercooler pipe's gonna come out. It's gonna be really close to this and it's gonna go right through this flat part right here. And then it'll just come right down into this. So that's pretty much how it's gonna look. It's gonna be awesome. Like I said, this car is gonna be on the street more than it is the track. So I don't need rocks flying up and puncturing my radiator and just dirt getting everywhere and all kinds of crazy nasty things I just don't want in my engine bay. All right guys, so to start the day off by getting the axles completely tightened down in the E36. Uh, we can't torque them like the spec or anything because we don't have a drive shaft and he doesn't have an e-brake and then hitting the brakes won't do anything because there's no brake lines. <laughs> but they're all in there, so that's good. Um, today, we're gonna be mostly working, actually we're gonna be 100% working on the E36. He got a new core support because this is destroyed. Brand new up there, gonna get that on, get the whole front end taken apart. Probably gonna actually paint that and then as you guys can see, the zebra stripes are gone, so the hood looks a lot better. But first thing we're gonna do, we gotta go up to Harbor Freight and return that sander that broke on us in like five minutes and hopefully get another one because it did work really well and I would love to use that on the cars when we actually paint them. So let's run up to Harbor Freight, probably get a drink, come back and start busting everything out on the E36. So we are gonna try to return this uh, air sander. Let us get another one. Where was it in this? Oh, I see it. It's beautiful. Beautiful 240. Oh. Oh. Out here at Walmart. There it is. It's flat white. Okay, we need gloss white. There you go, that big can. Here, semi gloss. Finally back again with the LZ. No. Picking up some tools. <laughs> Picking up some tools. Some good merch. Speaking of merch, you can go in the link in the description and pick up a street style tee and enter in the giveaway that we have not released yet. That will be released soon. 27.15. Cheaper than expected. All right guys, so we just got back to the house. Um, we went to Walmart and Harbor Freight. A can of clear that I just pulled off. Bondo some white paint and the Bondo spreader things. So Zach is gonna work on his fuel lines. They were leaking last time. We just need to put better hose clamps on those. While he does that, I'm gonna start sanding the core support down and getting that painted white so it'll match the rest of the engine bay. And if you're wondering what that is, it's this piece right here. It goes across and then bolts behind the bash bar down there to the frame rail. Guys, so we got the old one out. I'm painting the new one now. I'm doing the back coat white, and then the front coat will be white as well. Once we clear it, we can get it back on the car. But uh, I just did Zach's fuel lines, and I think it's good to go to see if it was leaking, because last time we started, the fuel was leaking, because the clamps were kind of shitty. So we just replaced those, and um, we should be good to go. Let's start it up. So we are pretty much all finished up. This car is like, if we had a drive shaft, it could drive down the road. We got his clutch figured out. The clutch is 100% good. It just doesn't have fluid in it because we're waiting on the tank reservoir. But it does disengage and engage. Um, and I don't mean the transmission. It's, I mean like the whole master cylinder is in there. Everything is 
bolt it up. Technically, if you put fluid in it, it would disengage the clutch. So that's good. The motor is 100%, 100% solid. The headers are bolted up. The sensors are on. It runs. It's good to go. All we got to do is put our radiator in, and we could let it sit there and idle and just rev it all day, and it would be fine. So super excited. Like, this is awesome. Give this video a thumbs up, guys. Like, it's been such a long process building this car, and it's finally there. This is pretty much done. No, not ready yet. You put the thing on there? Oh my gosh, he's interrupting. Here, let's start it. That's enough starter. I wonder why I it didn't excited. start. I Interrupted excited. my conversation with you guys to not even start this car because Shut one spark plug up. wire wasn't even hooked up. One, not one. Not even one. All right, I'm sorry. I so let me re-explain that this is awesome. Give this video a thumbs up. We're about to start the car and we're gonna test two different sounds. So right now it's just open headers. And then also we have this sick Y pipe right here. We're gonna hook up as well. The sound difference. So here we go guys. He's gonna plug them up and it's actually gonna start this time. You ready? I've been ready, Zach. 10 months. Fucking born ready, dog. Here we I'm go. I'm ready. Hang on, let me move these I'm blocks. not ready, I forgot my keys. Nothing's right. gonna hit anything, right? Nah, that's what I just checked. It knocked the clipboard off the wall. <laughs> it literally fell right down. It was like, boom! <laughs> That V8 life. That was too much. That was not running okay, but that's because it's missing all the sensors. Real quick, we're going to throw the new piece on there as well. And um, yeah, we'll start it up again and see if it sounds any different and see if it runs a little better. Because that, that didn't seem right. That didn't seem like it was before, but who knows. All right, so Zach's putting on the V-band clamps now. That with, is hot, guys. <laughs> with the new thing, it's kind of hot. It probably had a bunch of oh, fuel shit, on dude, it. Oh, shit, dude, that's badass. Yeah, it's cool. It bolts right up to the trans. It does? Yeah, okay, that hanger. Good. good. That'd be that a is solid. fucking badass. Alright guys, so we got the V-band in there. As you can see, it looks pretty gnarly, but it was a lot of work. It did not line up very good at all. But let's hope it's a little quieter. Even though we're gonna put a full exhaust on it, but I'm just kind of curious. Start her up. Any fuel leaks from the things I tightened? Doesn't look like it. It'd be on the ground. Hell yeah, that was awesome. It sounds so good, I'm so excited. Now Zach's gotta go to work. I need to put his front end back together, but honestly, I don't even feel like it. But look how good this turned out as well. Nice and shiny. Looks, oh. looks so good. That Dude, that sounded good. Like, I can't wait till just single exhaust to the back to a muffler like that sound. It's so much better than open headers. Open headers is disgusting. Like, I hate open headers, but man, that sounded absolutely terrific. Like, that was awesome. Bam, all back together. Looks absolutely amazing. I wish this paint was as clean as this. Zach will definitely have to wipe it down to make it look way better, but uh, it looks awesome. Great fitment on this overall. It's a little twisted up from being in a box, but it's a hundred times better than that one. So it's all clean, it's all on there. Last thing to do is just to put the headlight plastic things in there. I'm gonna save those last couple bolts for Zach along with the bumper, because we still gotta put the radiator in. We gotta get a new belt because our, uh, I mean not a new belt, we gotta get a new power steering pulley thing, what are you gonna call this? Because ours cracked. These are known to crack and explode on LS guys, so we're gonna get an upgrade at one. But it is looking awesome. That is gonna be it for the E36. All right guys, we are off. We're going to the meet. Just got done cleaning the S13. Hopefully no birds pooped on it because they always do out front of my yard because I have so many trees. She's looking dazzling tonight. So we're gonna go up to this meet. First, we're gonna go get some Starbucks because we're dying for some lemonade tea. It is absolutely delicious. Get some gas and then head to this meet. Starbucks, G. All right, guys, so we finally made it to the meet, and guess what's right there? A Chick-fil-A 
This meet is already lit. We parked on the outskirts. We're all alone out here. I'm gonna show you how many people are here, but it just started. So, there's probably like 30 cars. So we're gonna walk around, Definitely check them out, than 30 cars and then we're gonna boat. go get some food because that's what I really want. We made a friend. Where he at though? Look how Zinky friend. clear his headlights are compared to mine. Heck no, yours are way more clear. Hell no, his yeah. are actually white, mine are yellow. Boy, They no. might be foggy He as looks fog. like he's got a cloudy eye. They're, they might be cloudy, but mine are yellow and cloudy, not like clear and cloudy. It's pretty cool though, it's definitely a drift car. 240 guys. Oh, he's got the big exhaust, he's automatically cool. If you're watching this right now, dude, because I know you watch the channel, I saw your massive burnout at the meet. I saw you, dude. <laughs> you we all sent did. it hard. For all my 86 oh my. lovers, guys, oh check this right thing now. out. This thing, I wish I could tell he you more about it, but well, it is so cool. It's so cool. What? Oh yeah, it's this guy. I know him. Where's he at? Parts off of my car. There he is. What's up? So, like you know who this is? is? Oh, yeah. yeah is. Like, Super clean. Thanks. Super clean. <laughs> Guys, like, check this thing so out. I'm obsessed. It's so cool. This man is a drift legend. He has the rubber JDM mounts holding this truck side, right? And Dude, me and Perry, we don't, ha we didn't have a drill. This is aftermarket, so we got to drill a hole. Put it so back on there. We had to um. It wasn't on there. It was right no, there. I put, I took it off. That one's just, these ones are really close together for some reason. I we can't have, believe they hold it shut. That well, is no, so dude, like awful. I said, like I said, it's a heavy truck. It's not gonna like, yeah. like you really gotta <laughs> give it a little. This thing's cool. But yeah, no, so like I said, this thing is just like taped down there because this doesn't have a hole for the license plate light. Yeah, dude. So Perry gets a um, drill. This is a VIS rear bumper, I believe. It'll wear a knockoff, but it's over. It's <laughs> off it's of shit. VIS. It's shit. Because VIS is always doing that stuff where they slant straight down. Yeah. It looks cool, though. Drift Where's car, that? dude. Mine has a porn stand. I swear I will drift one of these one day. I'll own you and I'll drift you. I'm gonna tell you right now, Orion, if you're watching this, you need that front lip, Orion. I think he has the ducktail already, but damn, like that is sick. I really dig that. But Orion's trunk is better, but that is pretty cool. This thing is sick as fuck. You guys will see these wheels on his GTO in the near future. Guys, I really apologize. I'm usually pretty good at keeping up with Snapchats. But this is literally just like two hours. I, I don't know if I can keep up with it much more. I try my hardest. So when you're at a car meet and you see a cool car, chances are there's another cool car behind them. Damn, and then you're like, where's his other friend? And you're like, damn. All these cool cars. It's like, damn, damn, damn. And there's this, oh my gosh, a Supra too. So yeah, me and Melina are kind of just chilling by ourselves over here. We were hanging out with a bunch of people, but my stomach started to hurt from Chick-fil-A, so I kind of had to sit down, so maybe in a little bit, we'll move the car over to there and hang out with some people. But we're really enjoying this meet. There's a lot of people. It just sucks that like not a lot of our friends are here because we're kind of far away from like our area. 